In this video, I'll cover installing Docker, Portainer, and a few other containers to build an automated media server. Any of the links in this video can be found in the description below. So we're going to go ahead and just log into our Open Media Vault server, then go click on OMP Extras here, go to Docker, Docker again, and click on Install. Once that finishes, go ahead and click Close, then we're going to click on Portainer here, click on Install. Now that Portainer is installed, we need to create some shared folders for our Docker containers. So let's go ahead and head over to Shared Folders. We're going to click on Add, and just be sure to select the storage array that we created in the last video for the device, and then click Save. We're going to create a download folder, movies, TV, and incomplete. Go ahead and apply this here, and now we just need to add the column so that we can get the absolute paths of these uh, shared folders. Once we have the column, press Ctrl P like we're going to print the page, highlight the information, and hit Ctrl C to copy it, and then we can cancel this window here. And then we're going to paste it into Notepad, and then just clean up, uh, clean up what we copy and pasted here, so we only have the absolute path information. Let's start off with Sonar. So we're going to head over to Docker Hub and search for Sonar. I typically use the Linux server.io builds. So we just scroll down and find the Docker config. And we're going to highlight this information here and copy and paste it into the same notepad we copied the absolute paths into. Now we need to adjust the config. We're going to change Docker create to Docker run. We're also going to need to add a dash D to run the container as detached. And then you're going to need to change the time zone to match wherever you are located. You can use this web page to look up the time zone so that you use the proper syntax when entering into the config of the container. We're also going to remove this optional line and we're going to remove the config volume. When we create the container, Docker will create a volume for the config path here since we are removing it from the config. Doing it this way, the config path won't be saved on any of the shared folders we created. And then we're just going to fill in the rest of the blanks with the absolute path so that when we are using these files, they go to the shared folders that we created earlier. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into our Open Media Vault server. Now we just need to paste our config into the terminal window. Back to our web browser, we can browse over to the same IP address, just to port 9000. This is going to be for Portainer. First login, we'll have to create an account. I just use the word admin as the password. Just use admin twice. We're gonna make sure this is a local setup, not remote. Make sure it's local. Click connect. And then we're gonna go into the local server here and then the containers and you'll see Sonar is running here along with Portainer, which is also just a Docker container. And on the right here, you can see the published port is 8989. And if we browse over to the same IP, port 8989, you will see it right here. I rolled the server back to show you how to install a container using Portainer. So let's browse over to Portainer and click on the Add Container button. We'll be copying and pasting everything from the notepad on the side here. So let's copy the image at the bottom. And then we're going to give the container a name and paste the image name. We're going to need to publish port 8989. Then we just need to scroll down a little bit and click on ENV for environment. The dash E's in the notepad are the environment variables. So we'll just add those in here. And the next we just need to go to volume. And the dash V's in the notepad are the volumes. Once we have the volumes added, go over to the restart policy and select unless stopped and then click on deploy. Once the container is up and running, we should be able to browse over to the server IP address with port 8989. 
let's install the rest of the containers for this video. I'll be using the putty session for the other containers since it's easier in my opinion. So I already have the configs written out for the other containers, so we're just going to copy and paste the config into putty. Then back over to portainer and refresh, and we can see all of our containers are running. So now we can just open up new tabs for each container using the server IP address and the correct published port. Plex is a little different. We'll have to add 32400 slash web to the end of the web address. Plex is the only container running in host mode, so it's running basically like a native app. And that's it. We have Sonar, Radar, Sab, and Plex running. In my next video, I'll walk you through configuring each one of these containers. Thanks for watching.